Hey there, Gooners, and welcome back to the Transfer Hub. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop with all things Arsenal. Now, you might remember our recent videos where we discussed the top attackers and midfielders Arsenal might sign this summer. If you haven't seen those yet, go check them out. You won't want to miss them. But today, we're rounding out our trifecta with a super exciting topic. We're going to delve into the top five defenders that Arsenal might be eyeing up for the upcoming transfer window. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. Number one, Ivan Frejneda. The 18-year-old right-back from Rio Valladolid has been generating a lot of buzz recently. Arsenal are among the clubs that have shown interest in Frejneda and the club had explored a deal for him in January. The young Spaniard has been praised for his remarkable performances, although his youth does show in some inconsistencies. It's clear that his potential has caught the attention of major clubs, with Barcelona and Real Madrid also reportedly interested in securing his services. Arsenal's interest in Fresneda is part of their broader strategy to strengthen their defence, but they'll face stiff competition for his signature. Next up, Edmund Tapsoba. The 24-year-old Dynamo from Bayer Leverkusen has been turning heads left, right and centre with his spectacular performances. Now, here's the kicker. Arsenal aren't the only North London club that's caught the tap sober fever. Yep, you guessed it. Tottenham are also in the running and boy is this race heating up. Some folks are even dubbing him the next Jerome Boateng, which gives you an idea of the high praise this lad is receiving but Bayer Leverkusen aren't going to let their star go without a fight. Transfer Markt currently values him at around £26 million, but Fabrizio Romano recently reported that a bid of around £61 million was required to reach a deal. Next on our list is Mark Gerhi. This Crystal Palace powerhouse has been turning heads in the Premier League with his rock-solid performances and ability to confidently play out from the back, a skill that would fit like a glove in Arteta's Arsenal side. Now, word on the street is that Gerhi's got a hefty price tag of around £45 million. That's a lot of dough, but it's a testament to the defender's potential and impressive consistency he's shown on the pitch. Here's where things get interesting. Chelsea have a buyback clause from when Gerhi moved to Palace, but it seems like they're not planning on using it. So could we see Gerhi wearing the red and white next season? Arsenal's definitely keen and will be keeping a close eye on this one as the transfer window unfolds. Number four, Sasha Boué. This 22-year-old French right-back has been showcasing impressive skills on the pitch, catching the keen eye of Arsenal's scouts. The Gunners are actively looking to boost their right-back position and Boué is definitely a promising prospect. He's been consistently starting for Galatasaray, proving his worth in the high-pressure environment of the Turkish top flight. Word on the street is that Galatasaray is placing a £20 million price tag on Boué. A hefty sum for sure, but considering Boué's performance and potential, it could be a smart investment for Arsenal. Number 5. Riddle Baku the 25-year-old right-back and midfielder from Wolfsburg is another option for Arsenal. Baku's attacking abilities are influenced by his youth football days as a winger, but he is also secure defensively. He ranks in the top 10% of fullbacks for goals, non-penalty XG, shots on target and blocks, and in the top 25% for expected assists, passes into the final third and progressive passes per 90 minutes played. Baku has a record of 17 goals and 18 assists in nearly 150 Bundesliga appearances and he is a fully capped German international. It is thought that a fee between £10 million and £15 million would be sufficient to secure him from Wolfsburg. Number 6. Evan Ndicka The left-footed centre-back from Eintracht Frankfurt is another potential acquisition. And Dicker, who can also play as a left back, is out of contract this summer in Germany. He stands at six foot two and is known for his one-on-one -on -one duels. He has been almost ever present for Eintracht in the last two years, and he stands out as one of the best defenders in the Bundesliga. According to FBREF data, Ndicka ranks in the top 20% of centre-backs for blocks, 
passes cuts out clearances and ball recoveries. He can cover ground quickly, making him comfortable in a high line, a feature that Arsenal have struggled with in Saliba's absence. He is also a decent ball progressor, and Dinka's versatility, speed and the fact that he's available on a free transfer makes him a compelling option. Last but not least, Joao Cancelo. Rumours are circulating that Arsenal and Manchester City are in talks over a potential player exchange involving Kieran Tierney and Joao Cancelo this summer. The possibility of the moves comes as Arsenal manager is reportedly a fan of Cancelo, while Man City boss Pep Guardiola has shown interest in Tierney. Cancelo's relationship with Guardiola is said to be poor and the manager wants him out of the club. If the deal goes through, Cancelo could become Arsenal's starting right back, which would save Arsenal money and allow them to focus on other transfers. However, Man City values Cancelo at £60 million and it remains to be seen whether Arsenal agree with this valuation. These developments make these transfers one to watch in the coming weeks, with a swap deal very much an option on the table. And that's it for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed it and want to stay up to date with Arsenal's transfer news, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and until next time, come on, you gunners.